Draw Social Club Happy Hour with our very special guest this evening, Mr. Eric Powell, creator of Goon and many other wonderful things. We're very happy to have him with us. Also join us, people you can't see right now, Dan Panosian, Dave Johnson, Jeff Johnson, and the kingpin of Marvel Comics, Joe Quesada. Woo! Wow. Welcome, everybody. Guys. Good to well, see you guys. So uh, just to start out, guys, I've never done a, a, a webcam thing before, so just let me know when I'm supposed to get naked. Yeah. <laughs> well, you gotta wait for the tips. Well, we really leave that up to right. you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you gotta wait for the tips to roll in. We don't Frank, do this. Right, Frank's so. show was naked from the start. Yeah. yeah. This is true. yeah. If so, we did the super chat thing. Suspense. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, tell us about what's going on with Goon right now. Uh, well, a couple of years ago, I, I launched my own company. And uh, in March, we uh, we brought the goon over to Albatross, my company, and I've uh, started a new series. We're putting out all the back catalog too, so uh, it's been a lot, a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, I bet. You still uh, you still rolling with your uh, your partner, Andrea? Uh, no, it was the guy. Uh, oh. Dwight? Yeah. <laughs> the cre uh what you, you had a character for him, uh, I remember. Um or he seemed like a character. Uh Dwight Albatross? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh I think he's in jail. <laughs> I don't know. It's been a while. It's been a while. He embezzled some money and uh and uh, I think he got arrested. Oh bummer. Wow. Did he embezzle it from you? Yes. Oh, that's He was the backer of the company, and I think he actually took most of the money instead of, uh, uh, you know, investing. Oh. oh. I'm sorry I brought that up. Shit. Oh, no, no. Wait, wait to start it off. <laughs> we, we apologize for Dave. Yeah. yeah. This happens you know, once Ryan in the show. Ryan was like my Andy Kaufman like uh, character that. Uh, I would use to say terrible things. Oh. <laughs> so I just dressed I dressed a buddy of mine up like uh uh some crazy person and we would uh you know do uh you know and Kaufman like bits and stuff and put them in the back of the comic book. The funny thing though is that he actually made it onto a uh a TV show as that character. Uh, oh. What was the, what was the uh, Beauty and the Geek? You remember that reality show? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Jeff, do you remember <laughs> that one? Uh, I don't. I'm not a big reality show guy. <laughs> no, but I I, I, I never I, heard of it before. But it was at uh, it was at San Diego, and they were looking for judges on the show, and he got on the show as a judge, as a comic book publisher. <laughs> and, and he's a fictional character so well i just i remember you guys doing a bit at uh uh the eisners when i was yeah where he sh we shaved the eisner logo in his chest hair. yeah right. that was that was i think it was the first year the eisners actually got fun to watch yeah dave always like brings up the eisners years. by the way um What's yeah so i always bring up the eisners thanks dan Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, well I mean, why would you have to bring him up? Oh. Well, I have no reason. Oh, yeah. mean. That was mean. That's okay. cool. He just started it. Wow. Um, have you ever won a Harvey, Dave? No, I've never won a Harvey. Eric, do you mind if I ask you if you've ever won a Harvey? I, I've never won or been nominated for a Harvey. Never even been nominated? Nope. Are you sure? Yes, pretty sure, maybe. Not that I, I'm, I'm unaware if I've been nominated for a Harvey. I, might have to I do saw this year they cut out all the art, like uh, uh, categories and stuff. So I don't. Yeah, that was weird. weird. Yeah, I was, I was wondering about that. I like that though. Yeah, I bet you would. There's no art that in the, the award. Yeah, I like that part, Jeff. Sure, I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> It makes perfect sense. I'm not sure Harvey Kurtzman would uh, approve of them taking all the 
comic book creators out of the comic book award, though. Yeah. Well, didn't they have some other dumb, dumb categories or something they added? Uh, like best movie adaptation or something. Yeah, like yeah. Like like movies don't get enough awards. Yeah. <laughs> well, the Harveys moved to New York now, right? They're not in Baltimore anymore. Did they? I think so. I think New York Comic Con took over the Harveys, so they probably. Right. Have to show up. That's true. Thanks, Ben. Okay. Anytime. You're for knowledge. So, Eric, why did you decide to start your own company instead of uh, sticking? Yeah, we're a, little, we're a little angry about that. Why? Why is that? <laughs> why are you angry about it? <laughs> well, I mean, you're kind of an entrepreneur, and you know, we're all sitting here and you know, looking for the man. Mostly. It's more like. I stupidly spent my own money. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just uh, I just wanted to, my my stuff to be uh, in my own hands. You did know, you most did you ever uh, do any mainstream stuff before uh, Goon? Uh, I did a lot of I I did some fill-in work for. Uh, Dark Horse, I did some Buffy the Vampire Slayer stuff, which is not very good because I'm not real suited to it. But uh, uh, I did some inking on uh, a few books for Marvel. Uh, uh, I inked uh, some Kyle Hoots books on um, Black Panther and the Hulk. Wow, cool. Uh, that's, that's not an easy job to ink either over him. No, I wasn't very good at it either. <laughs> he, he, he was very hit and miss. Yeah, he's uh, that's a lot of line work. Yeah, for sure. Um, I remember there were certain guys. I the editor would give me the work, and he's a guy like Mike McCone, and I would just uh, <laughs> I just seem ter terrified. Wait, we got a little. Here's a question. Yes. Why did? Goon issue number five come out before Goon issue <laughs> four. That's a good question. There was a there was a major uh, screw up on our part uh, where because um, I had the artist for the next arc of the Goon, which started with number five, working before uh, or working simultaneously with us while I was doing the first four issues. So. Um, a lot of the books were going to print around the same time and uh, a total logistical screw up on our part that we didn't um, uh, notify the distributor when the books were coming in <laughs> <laughs> that they might want to hold off on one of those and uh, so five went out before four. Sounds fair. Um, I have a question. Um, is that are you? Did you find the storeroom in the Ace Hardware store? What's going on there at that that back wall? <laughs> Headboards are the best. <laughs> are you working out of an Ace Hardware store? <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. Good. That's the other thing. I, I started a comic book publishing company and then bought a hardware store. <laughs> so I just work out of the back of it. So what's the what's the hardest part of being your own publisher? Apart from using your own money and being embezzled from. So apart yeah. from those two things. <laughs> uh, there's there's a lot of uh, of juggling and, and uh, dealing with the the day to day uh, logistics of everything and kind of the uh, when you get wrapped up in something you have to take care of it and it's keeping you away from actually drawing or making the book that kind of sucks uh -huh. um, but it is I, I'm enjoying it it's pretty rewarding to, to you know put all this work into something and, and you know see it hit the shelves and it's so far so um, um. Colonel Troutman from uh, Rambo One. 
ask, I, I don't, excuse me, Reed Troutman, uh, is, which kind of leads to that question, is, the, is there a Goon movie in the works? Yes. Is it going to be animated the same way that uh, clip was? Yeah. Oh, all cool. the same people are involved. Um, we've been trying to get this movie off the ground for like 10 years now. Um, but we recently, uh, it was recently uh, picked up by Fox. Oh, cool. Um, so we'll see what happens there. But um, yeah, it was David Fincher and uh, Blur. Who? Um, Blur. Blur. Tim, uh, Tim Miller's company. He directed uh, Deadpool and yeah. the new uh, Terminator movie. Um, um, well, I guess they have some chops then. I guess that's something. Tim is great. Tim is awesome. Yeah. Um, so uh, they've been trying to get this thing done for like 10 years. And, you know, they. I, I have to say those the, the, the level of commitment they've shown to it has been pretty amazing. And they that's, could have that just, is amazing. That, that's a great crew. I yeah. mean, Tim, Tim Miller and, and Fincher? Jeez. So, they, I mean, you can see a lot of times people just option stuff to throw it at a wall and see if it sticks. Mm. And, and these guys have been behind this thing for 10 years trying to push it and get it made. And uh, the fact that they they stuck with it um, was pretty awesome. And, and I don't want to take it anywhere else either. You know, it's like, I don't want to take it away from them and try to sell it somewhere else or as a live action movie or something because, um, they what get was a dream it. team like that. Yeah. I mean, that's... they get it and they, you know, they, they, they get the characters and, uh, I think uh, their idea for the movie is, is about as best as I could ever hope for. So, um, are they adapting one of the storylines, or are they doing something? To, are you doing something totally different? We're uh, we're doing a. Um, it's kind of an amalgam of, of storylines. Uh, it's it's an original story, but it's based off of a lot of the uh, different uh, books. Um, I asked them if I could write a, a, a first draft when they optioned it, um, just to set a tone. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, not not expecting to do anything other than that first draft, but um, they really liked the, the the draft I turned in, so I ended up doing a uh, hundred more drafts. <laughs> and, then, and then I told them, you know, I, I felt like I didn't have anything left in the tank uh, uh, because you know I did the comics once and then wrote a script based off the comics, you know, five or six times. And I said, right. I, you know, told them that I think it would be better if we got another writer in there just to, you know, get a fresh point of view. So uh, they got some other guys coming in um, uh, to, to punch it up and, and work on it. And that's kind of where it's at. <laughs> <laughs> Do we, uh, um, are you going to be heavily involved in the actual designing of art and characters and doing all that stuff with the actual, the film? Uh, pretty much all that stuff is done. Um, I, I worked with them a little bit, but I think the, the lead guy on that stuff was this uh, pretty awesome artist named uh, Sean McNally. And uh, um, we did a Kickstarter for an animatic a few years ago. And if anybody has any of that uh material that we um generated for that uh, a lot of that artwork for that stuff was uh was with sean's cool do you like that jeff i i, I would love to see the animatic jeff's a bit of an he styles himself as a bit of an animator eric uh, and he, basically he's trying to he's trying to look for work it's kind of a sneaky way to yeah yeah, yeah. exactly did I get in there? I'm glad you said it, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> You're starting to really bug me. Yeah. yeah I'm like, you, know, you can save that for after the show. You can DM him maybe, Jeff. But, That's I mean, we're trying, to, yeah, we're, yeah. we're trying to do an interview here, if you don't mind. Well, just tell me it is. Just give it a name, Jeff. Give it a name. <laughs> poverty, Joe. I'm going to give it a name. It's called Poverty. <laughs> um, there's a guy, Gary Gary Hyde, or Gar, Gar Hyde. He says, uh, um, uh, Eric, you don't seem to limit yourself uh by medium, but do you have a favorite like inks, watercolor, pastels? 
Uh, Question mark. I, I like. I just like. I like pencil. Um, I think above anything else. If I could get away with it, I would just do books and pencil, and that's it. Yeah, you, you do such beautiful pencil work. I mean, that shading is. Dave and I were marveling over that that illustration I picked for your um, title card. It's okay. so cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I wish black and white comics were uh, a little a little bit better received because uh, <laughs> I think I would just do everything in black and white if I could. Yeah. I'll let, let's see what Dave is up to here. Just some watercolor on an old piece. Um, what is water. What are you saying with this piece? What am I saying? Yeah. It's a comment on uh, modern relations. Um, you know. <laughs> it has kind of a cool. Uh, who's that one artist? You that that one Spanish artist that you that you have some poster work of. Oh. Uh, 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 it's fine. Um, I, I'll remember it after the show. Yeah. Um, it's be a good inspiration. It has that vibe. It's very cool, Dave. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I'm trying to get better at this stuff. You know, I got guys like Eric doing really great watercolor stuff and painting, so kind of inspired me to get back into it. You inspire like me, Dave. The the first episode, the first issues of the goon didn't have as much. It seemed like they didn't have the watercolor stuff. Eric, when did you start throwing that in? Uh, oh, the first four issues of the goon. Um, oh, you mean the very first? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It was it was about uh, I think maybe seven or eight issues into the um, the dark horse that I started uh, playing around with. Before that, it was just straight up pen and ink, and I was trying to be uh, Bernie Wrightson as much as possible. Well, he wasn't, you know. Right. How did Bernie feel about yeah. that? So, did you ever, did you ever like want to work for Marvel or anything like that? I mean, with the old classic characters, or yeah, because we know a guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was a Marvel kid. Um, the thing, like, there's there's several things I've always wanted to do, um, but one of the things that, that kind of keeps me going back to create our own stuff is that, like, oh, wouldn't it be great to do the X Men or something? You have this this vision in your head of the X Men, but it's always like the vision of the X Men that you read. So it's like I'll never get to do like John Burns version of the X Men or something like that because it was it was John Burns, right? So um, well, I don't know if you read, but uh, Marvel Marvel just came out with a you know a project called John Burns X Men drawn by Eric Powell. <laughs> yeah, they just announced it. John John Burns X Men by Eric Powell. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Exclusively by Eric Powell. <laughs> That's kind of what every uh, Piscator book is, right? It's uh, retelling in his own art style. Yeah, I mean, it seems like every uh, all the all the big companies are doing. You know, they're running out of ideas, so they're trying all sorts of new. You know, like no, new no, hey, 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 Dave, I'm right here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah just Mar Marvel's just like sitting there, kind of confused, right? These days, that's the whole. <laughs> that's the that's the point. That's the point Dave's making. <laughs> They're like, what now? Gosh. <laughs> no, Marvel's got so many good people right now that I don't think they're I don't think they're uh, waiting on me. Uh, we take in a heartbeat. We take in a heartbeat. Dave, not so much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Certainly now he's out. Well, yeah, he, he was. You know, yeah. <laughs> I was on the bubble before. Now I know I'm. I'm off hey, the you got to save remarks like that for your for your uh, for your bogus account on Twitter. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the fight now. Jeff, so Eric, you mentioned. Uh, oh, sorry, Jeff. I can't. We can't I see what you're you saying. Bernie... <laughs> Jesus, Dan, let Jeff talk. <laughs> I'm just going to ask Eric a question about Eric. I know, but you, Dan, you can say something you want. 
Oh, wait, okay. So you start, you mentioned Bernie Wrightson. Who else uh, were some of your influences and guys you liked? Uh, Jack Davis uh, is a huge uh, influence on me. Um, uh, Dan really has, I, I, I really love what Dan's been doing because he, it's almost like he has a Jack Davis style, but it's uh, uh, not as good. That's good. It's uh, really, <laughs> not as good. No, yeah. it's not nearly as good. It's good. Um, yeah. A more realistic version of uh, Jack Davis. A little less cartooning, but the cartooning is still there. It's, it's I really like it. Thanks. That's a huge compliment. Thank you very much. I'm going to I mean, occasionally. What are you inking with, by the way? When you get all these like really good uh, like uh, pen strokes and these fat lines and stuff. I've been um, here. I'll see if I can um, do it this way. It's a. Um, it's it's just a P. It's it's called a PK um, two dash ten. Kurataki pen and Dave Johnson turned it up, turned me on to it. And then there's one is just a Pentel brush marker um, that has refillable ink. And then after that, I uh, I'll use like a uh, Raphael. Let's see what this is here. Um, uh, 80, 8404. Yeah, number two. Um, so I, I use all the ink ones. I wondered if you were using a brush because there was almost like a Bill Watterson kind of. Uh, yeah, I, I go back and forth, and I'll try to use like I'll, I'll really dilute the ink, um, and I've been using this um, Eon ink, which is kind of cool. Um, there's a guy who's big on Twitter, and he's I mean he just he's an art supply guy, does a lot of papers. It's called Eon Vortex. Um, and he sent me he sent me this ink and uh, the ink's unbelievable. It's great. Um, if you don't dilute it, it's jet black. And if you dilute it, it actually has a sepia effect, which I love, and it has that real old school look to it. Let me switch back to everybody. There we go. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, I but you know what? I really like the grittiness of of pencil um, shading. Because I, I, I think you can really, you can see the grid of the paper a little bit better. And, and using, using the ink washes are, are cool, but you can get pretty much the same effect using Copic markers um, with an ink wash. So as cool as it looks, it doesn't have that raw sort of, I don't know, it's hard, it's hard to describe. But I, I really, that's why I, I love looking at your work and seeing seeing when you're doing the pencil shading because there's some real fine work and then you can see a, a tiny bit of the paper texture and you can't do that with uh, an ink wash generally unless unless you do unless you're using some dry brush techniques and that's kind of cool you know yeah but i'm going to start inking i penciled up a uh a goon drawing and then i light boxed it oh sorry um <laughs> So, and then I light boxed it. I don't know if you can see. And, that, and so now I'm going to start inking it up. So I'll why switch my. Yeah, why don't you zoom, in, zoom into your camera so you can see it? Oh, um, let me show you here. That's how it works. Is that how it works? Technology. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> first I, I drew this really rough. Nice. Um, and uh, thanks. And then so I, I transfer that using a light box. And now I'll go back and I'll start inking it for real. Um, so let's see how it, it turns out here. Hey, Eric, do you, do you get the sense that these, these guys on this uh, stream are looking for a job with you or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really? Well, I, I did ask them to do uh, covers for me, so. All right. <laughs> I, I mean, this is the first time I've seen this kind of pandering on the stream. It was just on the draw, right? Quite a bit. Just it's great. Don't tell them we don't have any money. <laughs> Click. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Eric, uh, one of the audience, uh, Steve Bearfield, wants to know if there's any more plans for the uh, Big Man Plans book. Yes. And there's your answer, Steve. Yeah, there you go, Steve. 
<laughs> You're looking for a yes or no? <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, uh, there will be more big man plans. There are big man plans for big man plans? There, there are big plans for big man plans. Joe, what are you drawing? Can you tell us about it? Or is it still secret? No, I can, I mean, I'm drawing right out in the open. I mean, you guys can see it. Yay, Dan, <laughs> I want to see what Joe's drawing. Ask nicely. Please. <laughs> there you go. It's a real contentious show here. Oh, that's really cool. It's a little oh, Kojak cool. for you, Dan. Oh, Kojak. Nice, what do you got there on your mouth there, Joe? What's that? What's that in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Dave completely screwed up. Yes. Yeah, Dave, you really ruined it by. Uh... I was I was appalled at sloppiness. Uh, yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, you just couldn't wait. I just I had to eat it. I, I you know, <laughs> it was calling my name. It's already gone. Oh, it is. Yeah, I went through it. Oh man. I got a savor a lollipop. Well, I kind of cheated and broke it and ate it in mm. pieces. You know, it was so delicious. But I think they were onto something. You know, the guys are going to poke fun at me while I'm supposed <laughs> to be on the stream. You really need to make sure I'm still on the stream. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we're not very good I mean, at it, Joe. Clearly, yeah. We're all, we're all just not comedians. I mean, I think I everybody. Mean, it's, it. it's all about timing, guys. Yeah, yeah. we time. don't have it. We've never had it. No. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is a little, now I'm actually trying to, usually I'm speeding along on these, um, on these drawings. Now, of course, I'm, because Eric's here, I'm taking my time. You're yeah. auditioning. Yeah. You're auditioning. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Eric, what's, uh, are there more plans to do more hillbilly? Yeah. Uh, we're going to have, uh, another series come out in, uh, 2020. Cool. Yeah. Eric, can you tell us a little bit about uh, about your background, like you know, uh, schooling? Did you go to art school, or you? Uh... Uh, I didn't. Um, I I thought about going to the the, the Memphis uh, College of Art. I'm from Nashville, and mm -hmm. uh, that didn't pan out. Uh, so. Um, I for the most I got married pretty young, started a family pretty young, so uh, ended up kind of just taking any odd jo art job I could find mm -hmm. and trying to break into comics. Right. And uh, uh, never really had any formal training outside of of high school. Um, just kind of taught myself through trial and error. Any regrets in life? Apart from this podcast? Yes, I finished straight. Every day. No. <laughs> I, I like to ask those real hard-hitting questions. You know, I'm not, I'm not afraid to just go right in. Like, you know, I, I wonder. I, you know, everybody always I like. Know. Everybody's like, oh, I had this thing or I had that thing. I wanted to be, you know, I wanted to be a comic book artist or maybe you wanted to be something else. I, I wanted to be a journalist. Dan, mm. you wanted to be a journalist. No, come on, Jack. <laughs> like, first I've heard of it. <laughs> yeah, we've been friends a while. Yeah. I might have mentioned that, right? It's a secret dream to be a journalist. Yeah, I always thought I would have been a journalist, Jeff. Uh, yeah, seeking truth and justice and all that. Yeah, you know how I feel about truth. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, Eric, what, what was the inspiration for The Goon? Like, how did you come up with the idea? Uh... I just kind of threw a little bit personal, that Jeff. I wanted, that I wanted to draw, and um, I liked drawing big, ugly guys, and uh, so I took. Uh, I didn't like drawing anything modern. I, I, I liked kind of the Depression era. Um, I love drawing monsters, so I just took all of that and kind of smashed it together and that's kind of what the the goon came out of just my my own laziness <laughs> <laughs> i don't know you picked a pretty hard hat to draw 
Yeah, I definitely I had some trouble with the hat. <laughs> yeah. It is fun though. Do you, have any, do you have any regrets on the design after you did it, after you've drawn it so much? Did you like damn it? You know. No, I, I still have I still have fun with it. I think uh, um, it's it's cartoony enough and goofy enough that it it doesn't get uh, you know, I'm able to, to just go nutty with it. And if I want to get a little bit more uh, dramatic or something, I can I can rein it in a little bit. Or if I want to have more fun with it, um, you know, I can always go uh, a little bit heightened reality and, and cartoon a little bit more. So I, I still have fun with it. How many years? Like you, you did an anniversary piece at the Heroes Con. Um, yes, yeah, so this is the twentieth, the twentieth anniversary. Wow. Yeah. It's really cool. That's what we've been. Uh, so we've been doing a big uh, signing tour and promotion this year. It's it's been uh, uh, one more thing to add to the schedule of trying to run the, <laughs> the publishing company and do a book. Um, that lettering on that piece was, um, uh, I'm a big fan of lettering and that lettering was so cool. I thought, it, I thought it was real. I, I didn't, I thought it was a print that they were auctioning at the, there and I was like, nope, that's hand lettered and it's beautiful. Uh, that was, uh, that was on it. Yeah. Those guys, uh, the typesetting and everything, that was all them. That's, uh, mm. makes sense. But they're, you know, <laughs> That's their deal with all the movie posters and everything. Uh, they're trying. The kids are trying to break in right now. <laughs> I don't know if you hear anybody can hear them. Someone po pointed it out, but yeah, we we could we could hear them really loud. Oh, they really want a piece of it. They're big goon fans. Oh, those your kids, man? <laughs> yeah, I got I, I got a few more. You know, I wasn't going to say anything because I thought it might have been on Eric's, and I didn't want to insult our guests and say, "Hey, can you keep this down, please." <laughs> But now that you know it's me, yeah, Dan, please keep the kids. Right. Um, my my wife's watching one of her um, soap operas, and she's like, "Would you mind watching the kids while you do your little stupid uh, live stream?" Yeah, um, so, that seems reasonable. Yeah, completely. Yeah, Eric uh, Garhide asks uh, what you can if you can describe your typical work day. Oh, uh, <laughs> typical day, I, I wake up, uh, Andrew and I have breakfast and discuss <laughs> the many things that I've, I put off the day before. <laughs> and Sounds I'm familiar. Back, yeah. And then uh, uh, I usually do uh, stuff relating to the company, whether it's dealing with the, the, the you know, printers just or diamond or whatever until around noon and then uh, I start hopefully at that time I start working on a book and around uh, six or seven uh, take off for dinner and go to bed <laughs> do the same thing all <laughs> every single day every single day Sounds a little bit like my life. It's the price of success. Yeah. Yeah, everybody wants to do this job until they do the job. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, oh, it's not going around in conventions and everybody fawning over you 24-7. Well, for yeah. some people, it's simply going around to conventions. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Joe, would you say that when you talk to people getting in, that that's the part that, that stalls most of them out, is the amount of hours it actually takes? Uh, no, no. What, what, what stalls them out um, is a lack of commitment and focus. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's funny. I mean, you asked that question right on the tails of us making fun of conventions, but <laughs> right. it's, uh, there's a lot of people out there doing conventions but not really doing any work. So, um, but, you know. They make money at the convention, so you know, what to say? Um, but yeah, uh, it, it's it's always just lack of commitment, you know. But what, what Eric 
just described as his day, right? Yeah. You know, it's, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's tedious, it's long days, long hours, crazy hours. At the end of the day, though, would we rather be doing anything else? Uh, and, you no. know what I mean? Because we're not being able to do anything else. No matter what you do successfully or not yeah. successfully. I mean, you know, if, if, yeah. if you're, you know, whether you're working a, a, a nine to five or whatever it may be, you know, that's basically a day. It's tedious. You get up. Yeah. You know, you have your breakfast, figure out what's going on with the, with the family, the kids, and you're off to work. And you come back, go to sleep, and you do it all over again. So, my, my case, a lot of crying. Stop sure. <laughs> Dan, you've always, Dan, you've always been a crier. I, it's true. He's very sensitive. Dan is always been a very sensitive man. Yeah. <laughs> My dad had a construction company, so I worked construction in the summers. Yeah. And uh, I, I look at this as like, this is not real work. Right. Is, <laughs> yeah. It is work. It's a lot of work, but it's like, you know, would it, the option would be doing this or doing construction. Of course, I would do this. You're, you're, you're a thousand percent right, man. I mean, my dad was in construction as well. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I, I worked with him on occasion, not often, because I realized this is not what I want to do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. It doesn't know. take long. Yeah, no, I mean, and so, you know, that's why, <laughs> you know, I, I, I always consider myself really fortunate that I get to work in this industry, you know, yeah. even on its worst day, on its worst day. Yeah. Um, it's it's better than you know, a lot of the jobs. Totally. Yeah, my dad would say, one day this will all be yours. And I was like, God, no. no. <laughs> For the love of Christ. I thought you loved me, Dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dan, your dad wanted you to be a boxer, right? Dan? I think, he's, I think he's whipping kids oh. right now. Um, yeah. No, he didn't, Jeff, he didn't want me to be a boxer. I mean, he, he boxed, and that's the last thing he wanted me doing. So, oh. And he said I wasn't very good at it, and then he punched me in the face. And he goes, see, I was right. Yeah. <laughs> well, how about your plans for uh, starting a kindergarten now? Oh, for my son? He want, he just requested the, the um, this sword. So he wants, he's, he's got his buddy over. He's going to start taking jujitsu, I think. Dan is starting a boxing kindergarten. Yeah. Yeah, boxing yeah. kindergarten. That'll go over great. So the kids can have it. There's no nap time, goddammit. <laughs> I'm going to go give them a sword. Hold on. Wait, you're really going to give him a sword? Oh, yeah. Which sword? He has so, so many dangerous one. weapons in his office. A really sharp one. <laughs> Joe, uh, Several of the viewers are fascinated by your camera panning back and forth. And what so, camera panning back and forth? Your, your camera is like uh, drifting, like you're on a boat. I am on a boat. I'm on a houseboat. Right there you now. go, folks. Yeah. Joe is on a houseboat <laughs> in the woods. <laughs> I was wondering how long I think people will notice. They were noticing last week. Oh, yeah. They decided they weren't just drunk last week. So. Mm. Okay. So, so again, doing that? Take, take some votes. Do we like the, the, the uh, roaming camera? Or is it nauseating? I like it. Guys, I'm back. I, I think it keeps things, yeah, it keeps things moving. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not the most dynamic guy. So I can make it move faster, too. Hang on. <laughs> Let's see. Hold on. Go straight to uh, Joe here. Uh, let see. Oh, that's weird. Oh, now you notice, huh? I'm yeah. freaking out. <laughs> Let's see. I love that hand. I drew that, Jeff. All right. Did you use that statue? Here we go. No, it's drawing. It is not a drawing. I drew it. Okay. Okay, Dan. <laughs> I just I constantly like to take credit for things. <laughs> right. All right. So when did you create the gun? <laughs> Ninety-six, I think. No, I was asking Dan. Yeah, he's talking oh, to me. Dan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. All right. 96. Wow. There we go. Now we're moving. Wow. I like that. No, that's cool. Je uh, Jeff, you kind of take a hint from uh, the tech going on there. It's pretty impressive. Mm. Yeah. Let's, let's go back to yours. Hold on. <laughs> oh, it's just, it's just a simple <laughs> shot. Just a boring shot. Just you. Can you, can you bob back and forth? 
It's just you and your goon hat. <laughs> there you go. Is that, that's kind of what Joe's got going on, right? Yeah. That's kind of like the that's same thing. Been. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to date myself with this reference, but Ben, you're kind of like becoming the Ed McMahon of the of the stream. Oh, yeah. I love that. I, I love the laugh. Yes. It's like <laughs> Ben's the only guy that laughs at our jokes. Hey, now. That's nice. Thank God for it. It's on the yeah. laugh track. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's I may be running seven kids. Yeah. You laugh, yeah. you get beat up. So Eric, what was the so the when did you come up with the idea for the hillbilly series? Uh, it it had been sitting in my sketchbook for a long time, and I just didn't have time to do it. And then uh, when I decided to to launch Albatross, it was uh, it was the, the the idea that I thought I should should finally get off the ground. Cool. Um, I'd never seen anything that was kind of like uh, uh, most fantasy stuff seems to be set in a you know uh, like an old English setting or something and. Uh, yeah, having it be Appalachian was kind of was what well, I thought was super cool. It gave it a, a completely different vibe. Yeah. But I like the character, so we'll uh, try to get more going. I think that would make a great animated movie too. Jeff, Thanks. stop. Yeah, you're, you're just well, like, I know. I'm just saying, in case you're looking for animators, <laughs> it might be a really good one. That's really, that's really embarrassing. Me. I know. Well, listen, not yourselves. You're embarrassing me. So. Yeah, that's 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 the most important. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So Eric, uh, changed pace a little bit for this podcast, but uh, what are your feelings on the Packers this year? You're a uh, shareholder, right? Uh, it, you guys should know this. The, the season opener is on right now, and I'm not watching it because I'm on oh my your, God. your web channel. That's right. So, I don't know if I still my fancy. How much, respect, <laughs> how much respect I have for you guys as a wow. shareholder of the Green Bay Packers. I'm not watching my season opener right now. Well, there's your first. You're, you're DVRing it, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, I don't know. We're going to have to see what this new coach is like. Um, We'll see. I'm not an arrogant fan. <laughs> I, I don't think my team my team is going to win the Super Bowl every year. Well, can't all be that way. Can't all be Patriots fans, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. Ben, what do you have against Patriots fans? Uh, uh, lots of things. Mostly the city of Boston in general, but especially their sports teams. Probably lost a couple of viewers there, but yeah, no, not a Pats fan, not a Red Sox fan. So much hate. Uh, yeah. yeah, actually, it is pretty passionate. Um, but you know, so would you kill one if you, had the, if you had the uh, the wherewithal? Kill? Would you kill one? Would they kill kill one of the teams? No, one of the Patriots fans. Just Tom Brady? Absolutely. Wow. Tom Brady yeah. <laughs> jump from, from, from like <laughs> Tom Brady has lived his life. He he doesn't need any more of our time. Did, uh, I didn't know that Dave took sports so seriously. <laughs> oh, I don't. I was just asking a question. That's all. <laughs> now, you know what? It, you know what it is with Tom Brady? No one should be allowed to have everything. Right? Exactly. It's just that simple. Yeah. No one should be allowed to have everything. He, he always wins. You know, he's got a beautiful chin. He's got a gorgeous wife that makes more money than the entire NFL put together. His wife was outside my house a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> was, she, was she holding up a... Knocking on your door? Or? Yeah, a boombox? No, no she, was, uh, she was sitting on a uh, on a corner, and uh, she was, we were doing some, uh, some photography out here. I don't believe this story. Jeff, why would I ever make that up? <laughs> for some reason, I don't know if I believe this story. Very true. I live in I live in you know crazy uh, California. It happens. Sure. Um, hey, so they're coming out to see you guys soon. Yeah, you're going to come out, right? 
Yeah, I figure it's another opportunity for you not to invite me to your home. Well, Gis Giselle's coming over, so. Um, I understand. I don't know if I, I will have a place for you, but. We should do a live drink and draw, Dave. What do you think? I think I should. That'd be fun. We could do that. Hmm. Just one camera, though. I mean, that would be. Well, Joe's camera, ideally. Yeah, I'll bring my uh, my slider. <laughs> yeah. Um. Dan, I'm using all the nifty uh, inking tools you uh, recommended I get. Oh, you are? I awesome. never ink. I'm terrible at it, so I'm trying to learn. I keep, let's, all right, well, let's focus on that then. Hold on. No, you don't want to focus on it. Just... I want to see some inking. Oh, he wants to focus on it. I want to see it. Focus. Yeah. There we go. There's, I'm working on my telly. I can't see. It's coming out great. That's good. Uh, no, it's too blurry. Yeah. He's got the lollipop, though. I'll give you that. That's in that. Honor of oh. you, uh, dirtbags. <laughs> Pretty soon it'll be the Joe Quesada lollipop. Mm. Someone should make a lollipop after. Yeah. That's the ultimate. Um, you know, you've made it at that point when you, you got the lollipop. You made candy. Up. Yeah. What would mm. the flavor be, Joe? Well, I only do Tootsie Pops. First of all. Ah, I see. So you know, any flavor, they're, they're awesome. So uh, you can answer the question then: How many lips? <laughs> hey, I'll tell you later, big boy. <laughs> According to the owl, it's only three. That's a uh, well. The owls, the owls, zero patience. Which one? The owls, the owls, are the owls are douche. Trust me. Oh. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You, say, you, you didn't savor his tootsie pop. No, the owl's a maniac. Yeah. Trust me. I was just hungry, man. Yeah. The owl has zero patience. And jerk. you know, how can you trust an animal that can't move its eyes? Yeah. It's true. I never thought about that. Wow, Dave brings up a really good point. Dave Dave's got a lot of gems like that. I didn't know Dave knew so much about owls. I know way more than you should. I don't even know if that's true, but I'll believe it. He said it with such authority. Yeah. It is yeah. true. Why do you think they have to turn their heads all the way around? They can't move their eyeballs. They can't move their eyeballs. I'm an owlologist. Hi, everybody. <laughs> hey, so, yeah, make fun of me for fucking learning shit. For knowing stuff. Yeah. <laughs> what an asshole I am. Yeah. You're saying owls can't work side to side without moving their head. Yeah. Look it up. I'm doing it. I'm yeah. Googling that shit. Google it. I can see that. I can see that I like owls more than anyone. Let's see. Can anybody so they are feel like able to move their eyes in any direction? They swivel their heads to view their surroundings. I believe you, Dave. Dave was right. Mark it down. I'm always right. <laughs> Except when I'm wrong. Was right. I love it when Dave's right. Hey, what are you drawing? What am I drawing? Yeah. Uh, just a just a chick. All right. I can't remember what year I started it, but I'm glad I'm finally finishing it. Me too. What do her legs look like? She has no legs. Mm. Mm. You can You're... date your drawings by the legs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love that big ankle era. That was a good time. Yeah, that was some fun stuff. I had a couple of those hanging on my wall. I still love the guys that gave me crap about it because they couldn't masturbate to it. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm just telling you what they said. That guy was Dan. Yeah, they, yeah, it was Dan. <laughs> Gotta admit, I was never a big fan of that era. But, um... Hmm. So, Eric, is there anything uh, in comics that you are particularly reading or interested in right now. Or, or masturbating to. Or yeah. masturbating. Or uh, really, really hate. How do you feel about owls? I, I, I masturbate a lot to owls, uh, <laughs> ironically. Yeah, that's weird. Um, I hear that too often. Uh, I'm trying it's hard for me to keep up with stuff right now. I am. I, I've been reading. Um, uh, shit. Uh, 
um, Bitter Root. Oh, yeah. cool. Sanford. It's our buddy Sanford. Yeah. Oh, I always yeah, that's good stuff. Sketchbook. Sanford's awesome. Yeah. Bit of a show off. Yeah, he's a good dragon <laughs> He is. He's almost too good for sure. Yeah. Sanford, talk about what do you guys recommend? What should I be? Uh, what should I be checking out? Um, probably some Venom. Hmm. What? Joe's a big fan of Marvel Comics. Yeah. <laughs> Anything from Marvel. <laughs> DC stuff is dreck. Holy shit. Yeah, he hates that. He hates any... Have we heard from Bendis yet today? No. How's he called? It's too early. Uh, and by the way, hush you. By the way, uh, what about Slots? Slots is a good book. Yeah, Slots is not bad. Oh yeah, Slots. Yeah. Thank you, thanks, Joe. More well, than more than more than David. I don't even think Dave read it. Let's put it that way. Well, I haven't read it. Not only did I read it, but I made my own <laughs> book called Tricks. So yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's true. I forgot. Some people actually thought that that was a real book. <laughs> hey, yeah, you know I haven't read it. Well, why haven't you read it? You didn't give me a copy. Nor did you give me a copy of your, of your lovely sketchbook that I that I that I plugged for you online. That's that's true. All right, I'm going to change that when I get to New York. Are you mean the, the 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 phone book sketchbook? I don't Dave's know. upset because I because I gave a lot. Like my sketchbook is is so thick, and Dave's looks like a pamphlet you get at an airport or like a hotel lobby if you want to go to Wet n Wild or something. <laughs> it's a flop. Yeah, he's like, oh, uh, uh. yeah. Thanks, Dan. Dan, is this a sketchbook that you wrote a lot of uh, um, weird subtext? Like your little text is all crazy. Yeah, I wrote. I, I wanted to make a sketchbook that um, that had you know, like usually sketchbooks literally are just sketches. But if you buy an art book at at a um, you know a legit bookstore, there's there's questions and the the artist discusses his work. But I didn't have a whole lot of time, so. I I just I just made up stuff. Um, here, I got I got the book right here. Um, like there's a foreword in the book, but um, I just made, made, up. I made the foreword up. Um, let's see if I got any here. Um, but yeah, okay, pull out your pull out your sketchbook, and I'll pull out mine. We'll show the differences. Whoa, hey, 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 hey now. It's got very personal. Yeah. Sorry, I would, but mine sold out. So. Oh. oh. <laughs> that was yeah. Yeah. Eric, Eric is bringing out the worst in us. Yeah, Eric, we're going to disband <laughs> practically. Yeah. yeah, thanks, Eric. Wow, look at that thing. Look how thick that book is. Yeah, it's a thick, look at that. It's a thick book. It's actually got a binding. Mm. It's oversized. Is it oversized? It's oversized. Look, there's all sorts of. Um, is it, Dan, is it in color? It's in full color. Dave's is all in black and white. Wow. Um, you spared no expense. Nope, I, I really cared. Damn. Full color. Full color. Wow. Yeah. Well, I loved how you reprinted every other page. Uh, uh. The same thing, <laughs> you know, just to drive it home. Um, there, there is actually one drawing I show three times, just to just to annoy anybody who bought it. Um, but like all this stuff, everything I've written, garbage. Um, yeah, I love, I love how you tried to make that seem like you did that on purpose. <laughs> That's yeah. Very smart. Mm -hmm. Um, but no, you get a lot of value in this. You don't get what, what you, what we lack with yours, um, we get with mine. Well, I just, I I to... could be, this could be the entire, you know, uh, you know, live stream is if we went through this thing. I tried to go through, uh, you know, and have quality as opposed to quantity. All right, so. gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just leave this here for Dave. Keep it together. Um, uh -oh. oh. Sorry. Hang on, guys. Someone's got a phone call. Yeah, what do you think? Look at me. Oh, guess who? I'm picking this one up. Yeah. It's the book. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> no, you come on properly, like a regular guest. You know this, yeah. Oh, you can't really know how the kids. You good? 
All right. Go up to the family. Bye. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Joe's no Joe's no joke. No. I mean, if he wanted to come on the right way, he could come on the right way. He doesn't. Yeah, he, doesn't I, he doesn't respect what we're I doing. I appreciate that he's watching every week. Sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um. He actually, he actually wasn't watching because he called me when I left early last week. Mm -hmm. I'm like, dude, I'm not even on. <laughs> Dan, uh, we had a follow-up question. You were talking about thinning out your ink earlier, and uh, Gar wanted to know: Do you just add water to the ink, or do you yeah, use just just thinner? Water, tears, a little spit helps. A little, a little bit of cat ammonia. Here's some uh, in honor of Joe. Um, all right, do it. Right. Let's see, there's, there's uh, Jeff. Hold on here. Like Drawing with a lollipop, it's great. You guys are gonna love it. No, it doesn't go well with beer. I found out last week. No, no, beer, not a hmm. I don't drink. Boy, oh. there's some Bendis people are a little upset with Bendis out, out there. Oh, really? No, what are they saying? Well, they're saying he's interrupted. Uh, Eric's show. We're getting. We're finally getting somewhere. Yep. Getting some hard hitting questions with Eric, and then guess who calls? Mm -hmm. Ryan. Yep. So Dan, where can people get your sketchbook? Is it still available? We could go to Essential Sequentials. Oh. And actually, I think they're making a deal where you might even be able to get it online at uh, Barnes and Nobles. Huh. Oh, right on. Unlike Dave's. Wow. Well, mine's sold out, so you know. <laughs> Sure. Um, Eric, do you have a sketchbook? No, he just comes out with awesome comics. Just the comics? Uh, just... No, Eric has a movie. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't currently have one, though. No. We did some uh, a while back, though. The, uh, did you ever get the Tiki square, Marks? It wasn't figure? square bounded in full color. Yeah. <laughs> Eric, did you ever get your tiki mugs figured out? Uh, no. No. <laughs> it's disappointing. So we're, we're still uh, trying to get uh, a proper printing done at the manufacturer. So. Ben, can you re finish oh. soon? Sorry. Yes, Dan. Sorry, no, I interrupted Eric, and that wasn't right. <laughs> you, you would like me to read this question? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ted wants to know if we can start a GoFundMe for Jeff to get a better camera and microphone. <laughs> uh, yeah, Ted, just give me the check. <laughs> <laughs> Ted. Sorry, Eric. This is kind of a. <laughs> I think Jeff takes PayPal. <laughs> If he had a computer, you can just demo me, demo the money. So <laughs> again, Western Union, an actual computer, <laughs> and then he could actually receive the funds. Pony Express. In the meantime, they'll just spend it on beer. Yeah, I, I will. Um. Oh, look at that! That was nice from Squirrel, Squirrel with the Chainsaw. You can go here, EssentialSequential.com. Ah. Pick it up. I'm apt to, you know what I should be doing is I had they did a um, special thing where where it, the book came with an actual sketch and I got to start finishing up those sketches. Um, so Dan, should I just order them for them because I, I know you're not going to yeah. give me. You can order you can order one and I, I'll give you half back. I'll give you I'll, I'll do you a buyback. I'll buy you a beer. Mm, okay. Beer. Sure. So what's this one? Hashtag I like Bendis. Hmm. I like Bendis too. Yeah, someone likes. Oh, oh no, Dan, I'm not buying a sketchbook from you until you produce the one with the knife in it. The world was a deadly sketchbook. <laughs> Man, I really want to do that. You gonna put a blade in your sketchbook? I want to put a. I want to make a sketchbook, and it comes with an urban barbarian knife. Yeah. We call it the world's most deadly sketchbook, and Eric. Didn't you have like a, a something where there was like a hatchet or something, like something in, in one of yours, but it wasn't it wasn't real, right? Wasn't there something you were selling? It was for um, 
Oh, the, the the Devil's Cleaver. Yeah. From Hillbilly, yeah. We were we were selling a uh, uh, like a uh, statue thing. It wasn't even it wasn't real metal, so not deadly. Yeah. I got a little jealous when I saw that because I was like, yeah. yeah. I will have the sketchbook eventually that has like the little inset, and we will come with a knife. Mm. That'll go over well at the conventions. Okay. Um. You could sell it at the replica sword stand. I know they sell swords and they sell all sorts of things there. And all kinds of great stuff over there. Yeah. So I could sell like I could say this is not real, and even though it would be, and then um, uh, this this is this is going to be a prelim illustration, Eric. This is not coming out the way I wanted. It. The actual rough sketch I did came out much better, and this is the first drink and draw where I'm drinking coffee and not alcohol. So that's probably the problem. Yeah. Might be the problem. Good okay, Eric. So, so you have to. We have to end the tension here. Who, which one of these guys are you hiring? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Break one of their hearts. Get it over with. Dave. It's gotta have to be Dave. I might go to one of those uh, online job sites, maybe, <laughs> and see what they offer first before I make any hard decisions. You know what? Smart move, man. That seems fair. Yeah. Smart move. I'm really disappointed in my sketch. That was this. Usually, I'm all excited and proud. I got, I guess, I got a little stage fright there. I'm going to be honest. Did you get nervous, Dan? I got nervous. It happens. That's understandable. Maybe you should yellow marker it. Yeah, put some yellow marker on it. Oh, Dan, come on, whip it out. It's been a while. Whip it out the yellow marker. That usually saves a drawing. <laughs> Here it comes. Yeah. Madness. There you go. Jeff, what are you drawing there? Is this just a random space beast eating something? No, it's the goon fighting a monster. Ah, well, see, I can't see the goon because your newsboy hat's in the way there. <laughs> there How about that? <laughs> <Is> that easier? <laughs> I like the hat. It's a good hat. Mm. It just obstructs the view. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Hang on. Let me see if I can't. Uh, can you make it more different with the camera? Can you make it more pixelated? I'm going to do my best. <laughs> <laughs> Send that? money now, viewers. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Jeff is standing by. <laughs> All right. This is Jeff I Johnson. I prefer. I prefer cash. <laughs> Streaming with the worst camera possible. There you go. It's Please look table. into your hearts. There you go. How's that? Is that easier to see? Well, try to keep it still because every time you move it, it <laughs> pixelates. Thank, thanks. Thanks, Dave. Let's play some Sarah McLaughlin music. Come on, quick. There you go. <laughs> you see it? It's great. Awesome. How's that? Is that better? Uh, no. No, it's never. It's never been better. It's never been better. It's never been better. There you go. How's that? <laughs> it's a. It's, it's like it's like you're broadcasting from a bunker in Afghanistan. Listen, I don't want anyone to know where I really am. I have to uh, piggyback the signal. Yeah. Wow. It was back taxes from 2001. <laughs> yeah, I have a file. Detailed files. Um, well, it's now been an hour. And Jeff's ruined it once again. Yeah, yeah. that was me. <laughs> Well, on the bright side, we can hear you, Jeff. Yeah, thanks. I mean, look, one step at a time, Joe. One step That's at a time. We can hear you. Like, get there. Yeah, I got there with you. You know, we'll we'll have it down. You know, <laughs> if yellow marker it. Hey, Jeff. Someone says it's like you're animated. Hang on, it. It's like you're animated on twelves and not twos. <laughs> That's a good one. I respect that comment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a comment directly for you. Just yeah. designed for you. I appreciate that. Yellow marker really saved this drawing, guys. It oh, always yeah. does. Yeah. Wow. Yellow marker has powers. Dan, is that, uh, what does that thing smell like? Uh, it smells, wow. like, it smells <laughs> like victory. It smells like brain cancer. 
Yeah. <laughs> Can someone please uh, post a link for a Yeti mic on uh, yeah. comments? Anyhow. Um, oh, Dan, one more question. How's your black mold? The black mold situation between this, between the yellow marker and the black mold at the house. Um, I might not make it to, you know, episode 30. By the way, Eric, we're talking about between Dan's crotch. Uh, that's uh, he found some black mold there last week. Yeah. Um, we discovered some black mold. Bleach. Bleach. Yeah, yeah that's the trick. Bleach. <laughs> I, I Bleach do have crotch that I've had for seven years, so uh, we might have a serious case of black mold. Yeah, you've had a good run. That's it. Yeah. Nobody I mean, cares. Tom Brady, but nobody yeah. cares. <laughs> Yeah. Nobody cares. All right, let's do a little sign off. Um, we've been promoting your um, your Twitter handle, but if there's anything else you want to pr promote, Eric. Ooh. Hey, let's let's focus in on that. <laughs> I want to see yeah, the drawing. Better. No, I want to see the drawing. I want to see the drawing. Oh. Oh, badass. Jeff, take a look. You can see it. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> on an iPhone. And see how he holds it still? That's pretty cool. I have to look That's awesome, have to watch it. Do it again. Wait, did you do – you didn't do that the whole time you were here. You started that beforehand, right? Uh, it was sketched out, yes. Oh, okay. Well, now but the ink work you, you, you've done while we've been chatting, right? I inked it while we were talking, yeah. Oh, that's nice. amazing. Nice. Wow. Well, he does have all the tools, Dan. He does have all the tools. I know. He's hardware. <laughs> <laughs> um, can we see it one more time, Eric, if you don't mind? I can't believe you did that in, in, in an hour. It is cartoony. So. Oh, this is <laughs> so good. Yeah, it's great. That you always... Good. You, I love the I love the values on that thing where where you just this is trailing off this part isn't and oh, it's so neat. Yeah, that's a uh, definitely from looking at so much Rosetta stuff where it's just like keep your eye focused in one you know spot. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Trail out from there. I mean, you could you could use some yellow marker, but it would be way better with the yellow marker. Yeah, Dave actually implemented some yellow marker. Yeah. Uh, it's watercolor. Get, work with me, Dave. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> actually, this is my goon cover. I, I'm just going to throw a goon in the back of it. Just call That's it a day. What do you think? Brilliant. Brilliant. I can work, I can work it into a story. <laughs> Actually, that's one thing I miss about old comics, uh, the old days of uh, the cover would, would uh, uh, drive the story on the inside. Like, yeah, I, I, I've done that once in my career with uh, Jeff Parker, and I just created a whole bunch of weirdness, and he had to write it in the book, and it was great. So maybe I'll do that with my Goon cover. I'll just throw you, uh, throw you some curveballs, see what happens. Check that out, Eric. Do you see? Uh, now we can actually see. Yeah, Jeff. now, yeah, something's yeah. going on with Jeff. Oh my god, the camera actually works. <laughs> it actually Isn't looks that? good. Yeah, thanks, Dave. I don't know if I'd use it as a cover. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kind of it's kind of the wrong uh, wrong dimensions. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's a wraparound. The hat looks off. The hat. The hat's not quite right. You need reference for the hat, Jeff. I know. I got to find some. Yeah. Yeah. If, if only, if only you had something like that. Or if only I had a hat nearby. Yeah. No, Jeff got the hat right. My hat, my hat's wrong. Um, that's really nice, Jeff. I take back all the mic comments, all the video comments. Yeah. Yeah. Something happened. Did, I mean, all of a I had sudden. The cameras, I had obviously I had the camera set on the wrong thing. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Mm. now I get it. Yeah. Uh, that's what it All right. Well, we're gonna let we're gonna let Eric go. He's he's got a life. He's got a family. He's got friends. Unlike us, Packers. Yeah, you gotta watch each other. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
I'm going to pack in some Packers. Well, thanks for having me, guys. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks for drawing. It looks, yeah. I think you did is amazing. I'm yeah. disappointed that uh, no one got nude because uh, I was terribly misinformed on uh, what <laughs> webcams were. Yeah. Um, I think Dave's been nude the whole time. Well, these days, he's always partially nude. Well, sure. At least no pants. Yeah. 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 He's Donald Duck in it. Gross. <laughs> I can't. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> now that's in my head. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, Joe, for actually making the joke work that we destroyed yeah. last week with yeah. Coach Jack. Yeah. Helping us out there. You're a good sport. Yeah. And bringing dogs to the show. Are we doing this next week? I think oh. this is probably the last one. This yeah. is. Just call it, call it a day. Well, yeah. We're not doing it next week because you guys are at a show, right? Yeah. Dave and I are going to be at Rose City. Doing what? Your show? Yeah, we're going to be at Rose City in, in Portland uh, yes. promoting my sketchbook, not Dave's. Apparently it's sold out. They printed they printed 50 of them, and they went pretty quick. It took about four months. <laughs> <laughs> so. yeah. And not bad for black and white. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Oh, what are you going to do? Yeah. Uh, All right, everybody. Thanks again, Eric. Um, thanks, Eric. thanks, everybody, for Thank checking you. it out. Um, yeah. Shall we say toodaloo? Toodaloo, everyone. Toodaloo. 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 Thanks for joining us, Eric. Thank you. All right, everyone. We'll see.